my channel on today's video I will be doing a what's in my purse I'm very excited to show you guys what I have in it and before I start with the video I remember um, telling myself that if I ever did start a YouTube channel which I did I was gonna do one of these videos and here I am I'm really excited to show you guys what's in it and I don't know I feel like just I don't know if it's a lot of people but me I've always like these videos and i always like to see what people have in their purses i don't know i feel like it's just a little bit of their personality but this is the bag i carry so i usually just stick to one bag and every time i like go out this is the bag i carry but if i want to like not carry too many stuff i have a little like shoulder bag that i got uh, at amazon and it's just like black with like silver i'll link it down below in case you guys are interested but it's like a very small shoulder bag and I mean, I actually just rotate between those two. But for right now, this is the bag I carry. So she is packed. I have not emptied this in a really, really long time. So the stuff I carry here is just stuff that I don't really need. But, you know, they might come in handy one, one of these days. So this is the purse. It is a coach bag. I think it's called a small town bucket bag. I remember seeing this on TikTok. And one girl was saying that this was going to be like the it bag. So I went on the Coach website, and it's actually the Coach outlet, and they had so many colors. I was debating whether to get this one or the cream color, but I honestly love black. I feel like black is timeless, and my favorite color is black. So I feel like it matches with everything, and it just goes with all of my stuff. So it's it's a very, I mean, it's a, it's a nice like, everyday bag, and it has like three compartments. And if you guys see me looking like up, it's just I'm trying to make sure I'm in focus because this camera has been acting weird. So yeah, it has three compartments. So one, two, three. And I'm going to show you guys like what's in this compartment first. So to start, I have my wallet. It's a YSL wallet. I got this when I went to Vegas back in May. And I've never really been into like luxury items. But I don't know. I like I wanted to invest on like a wallet that I was going to... Um, carry all the time and I wasn't gonna be switching it around so it's just a little wallet and then you open it and then, like it has like my ID and like some cards and just a little bit of cash but this is my wallet and then I have my keys so I think I need to look for my car key oh there you go I just my dad took my car he went to go get me boba so I have my like my car key I do drive a Fiat which is the cutest car ever it's a Fiat 500 sports I think but it's the cutest car ever and then i just have the rest of my keys i have like my husband's car key for our other car and then just my house keys and like a little um keychain that i got um at amazon and yeah very very simple very minimal i try not to carry much and then i'm still like in the big bag and i'm just setting everything on my table i have some sunglasses that i got at amazon and i will link these down below i'm not a like when it comes to accessories i'm not a very like big accessory person i honestly just have probably like three necklaces and like i just yeah, i don't really have a lot but i have these these are like a tortoise tortoise how do you say it? tortoise tortoise a brown color i don't know how to say that word <laughs> but they're they look like this and they were i think like 12 dollars and i carry these in my purse and then i have some black ones from um key on my car so i just have two pairs I rarely use them, but they come in handy. And I have a lip gloss. It's just a Kylie lip gloss. And that's really what I'm wearing today. And this is in the color Snatched. And you guys will see that I have a lot of lip, lip products. I love lip glosses and lipsticks. So you guys will see that in a bit. So I have that. I have some hand sanitizer because, you know, Rona's still around. And I have... Um, this one from Touchland. I honestly, I've tried several hand sanitizers and I feel like this has been the best one so far. And like, I feel like they all do the same thing, you know, like alcohol, they just, you know, like kill the bacteria. But I do have very, very dry hands and I feel like this actually moisturizes my hand, which is weird. But I got this one and I got like three other ones, but I finished them. So I need to actually restock. But yes, I love this brand. They're a little bit pricey for a hand sanitizer, but you do get quite a bit. So yeah, I have that in there. And then I just have this lip gloss that I got at Urban Outfitters. It's just like a, I think it's called like a fruit dragon or fruit do dragon. And this is a, I, I just got it because I was looking for lotion and like it was there. So yeah, I mean, I use it every once in a while, but it's not, it's not like my everyday lip gloss. And I just have a paper mask. 
COVID. You gotta stay safe. Have my AirPods Pro. And I got this case um, at Amazon too. It's like a customized case with my name. So it's very cute. I actually keep this in my, in my um, focus. I keep this in my keys, but I just, I was using them um, last time. So I just shoved them in there. And I have a pen. And this is just like a very, very pretty pen. I got this at a very, uh, at a very small Etsy shop and it's just like a rose quartz in there. I don't know, this is not on focus. Oh, okay, there you go. So yeah, so I really like this pen. I carry it just in case. I feel like you can always use a pen. So that's it. This is empty already. And now we're gonna go in the middle compartment. So like I said, I love lip products. So I probably have like over 10 of them. The one of the first ones is the Too Faced Lip Injection. I'm trying to make sure you guys aren't focused because... Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh my god, look at me, a beauty guru. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a Too Faced Lip Injection in the color Tangerine Dream. And at first I didn't believe these work, but my sister-in-law got me into them. And I carry this color, like when you're not wearing makeup and you just want to throw like a little bit of color. This actually is very nice and it does plump your lips. And another thing she got me into, it's this Too Faced, I don't know what these are called, but they're like lip balms and like, I think it's like a chapstick, but it has a little bit of color, but they're really pretty. Like I have the color Pink Whisper and it looks like this. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty, but it's like a very like, you can't really see. It's like a very like, uh, it's a it's yellow with pink in it, but when you put it on the yellow it doesn't show and it's just like a little pink uh, Tint and it's very pretty. I really like it Let me see more lip products. I Have another Too Faced lip injection lip gloss and this is in strawberry kiss Aquaphor for my dry lips and my dry hands and then just an essence lip liner like I said I'm not a like a big big makeup person and I'm not like into lip liner, but I was like, you know what? I needed a nude lip liner because I don't have one. So I got this one and it was like $3 and it's a very pretty color. So I'm just trying to let's see. Oh, eye drops because I have very, very dry and sensitive eyes. So these eye drops and then sunscreen. So if you guys don't wear sunscreen, you guys need to honestly, ever since I started wearing sunscreen, it's made such a huge difference. So I use the CeraVe, I think it's SPF 50 sunscreen, but I do carry this just in case I need to reapply it. And then this is a Sunbum um, 30 SPF, but yeah, it was like, I think like $5. And I really like this uh, brand. So I carry this in my purse. You gotta put sunscreen, you know, SPF, stay protected. And more lip products, like I love lip glosses. Um, I remember I was into lipsticks, but I do have very dry lips. I try to moisturize them, uh, exfoliate them, but I don't know what it is that my lips and like liquid lipsticks don't go together. So I've tried many formulas and I do like a lot of um, lip glosses. So I do have one from Lime Crime. This is like my favorite lips product lip gloss. It's in the color Bitter Cherry and I wear this every time I go out. Not like I go out all the time, but when I do, I use this and I carry this on my purse. And then also like an old time favorite is the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. Like these are like my ride or die. And then also recently I got this Rare Beauty lipstick in the color Brave. I think it's like a liquid lipstick but then it's very soft. And this is like the only formula that doesn't dry my lipstick. So far I only have this color but I really really like it. And I try not to buy too many makeup products that I don't use because like I said I'm trying to minimize pretty much everything in my life but i've had these for a while and i mean i will keep them until i finish them and then repurchase them and i just have a bobby pin so that's like the like the first compartment and then the second one now we're gonna get into the third one and i just i'm literally throwing everything in my table <laughs> oh i have a mirror just like a little compact mirror it's from benefit my sister-in-law gave it to me oh my phone. I gotta forget my phone. So I have the Galaxy um, Flip, Galaxy Z Flip 3. I actually just got it recently. My husband got it for me and I'm very excited. So I've been an iPhone user for the past probably 10 years of my life, 10, 9 years. 
and I've always been with iPhone. I remember having the iPhone 4 and then 5, 6, and I kept getting the like the newest iPhone that would come out till maybe the seventh, and I just couldn't keep up. I couldn't keep wasting like so much money, and I got the iPhone 12 Pro back in December as a Christmas gift. But I don't know. I just feel like I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Apple products. I have a MacBook, iPad, like AirPods. I love. I'm a big time like Apple Apple uh, product person, but. I got a little bored and I just feel like Apple is like very simplistic. I mean, don't get me wrong, when it comes to the camera, video quality, I feel like Apple has like some of the best uh, phone cameras. And I, I mean, I still have my iPhone 12. I actually keep it in my purse if I want to use it to take pictures. But recently I started to look into Samsung and I had the Samsung S21. But then I sold it because I wasn't really using it and I've always wanted a flip phone. When the Galaxy Flip 2 came out, I really wanted it but I didn't want to spend $1,500 on like on a phone. And then also the fact that it was like monochromatic, it would leave your fingerprints. So I wasn't like very, very like into it. So this came out and I told my husband, I was like, I really want it. I really, really want it. So he got it for me and so far I've loved it. I love every everything like every part of it i love that it folds i feel like that's like the best part when you're talking on the phone you know what i don't want to talk to you anymore just click on that person you can put it in your pocket and i feel like when it comes to like productivity i feel like samsung has like limitless limitless options so if you guys want to see what's in my iphone or what's in my phone i would love to show you guys but yeah this is just my samsung galaxy flip 3 and i have a sticker uh, Levi from Attack on Titan and this is my home screen and another thing that I do love about Samsung that you can customize your phone to your taste anything so I'm just I'm very happy with it so if like I said if you guys do want to see a comparison between both phones I would love to do that but I carry this in my purse and then I carry this you're, pro you're probably wondering what the hell is this and <laughs> But <laughs> this is a portable charger, fan, and flashlight. And you're probably asking yourself, why the hell do you carry that in your purse? So when I was working in a restaurant, like my, my previous job, our AC wasn't really working. So there were times where it was very hot and I went on Amazon and I was looking at portable chargers and then I saw this and it was like $12 and I was like, huh, why not? So I ordered it. And actually I placed a, like I ordered a few and I gave some to my coworkers and one to my mom. But this thing comes in handy when I tell you that this has been, has been one of the best purchases I've ever made. Oh, believe me, I will link it down below as well because I I'm like I'm interested like in see if you guys if you, to see if you guys get it. So it's a little like teddy bear. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a little teddy bear. And then if you flip it around, it has um I think it's a USB uh, port you can also charge your phone and like I said it's a flashlight so it has a button back here and then you turn it on and you see a flashlight <laughs> I'm so excited little things like this make me so happy and you open it Ugh, there you go and the same button you press it once and look a fan and then you press it again and it goes faster so this came in handy during like the summer as well so I really like it. I said best. I think it's like $14 now, but one of the one of the things that I love the most and it comes in handy. Also portable chargers, so I always carry this in my purse. The camera turned off. So I was talking about this little thing. It's a tripod for your phone. And like I said, a girl on TikTok was talking about it, how you know sometimes you want to take pictures of your outfit, but you don't have anyone to take them for you, or you don't want to leave your phone just like anywhere. So I think it's called Autumn Tech and I would link it down below. Like I said, I would hit a link as many of these products as I can down in the description bar. But it has a little controller and like I sometimes like struggle to take this out, but there you see me struggling. Anyways, I, I can't take it off. Oh there you go. <laughs> so it has a little controller like this and then it has a um like a charging, like a I think it's like a type uh, a USB type C. If you have an Android phone, you can use it to charge, but you pretty much charge this, and then the whole tripod charges, and then you can you connect it via Bluetooth, and then to open it, you just open it down here, and then this pops up. Like I said, it's very hard to open, and then you just put your phone here, and 
like you can mount it anywhere you'd like and it's the thing I like about it is it's very small and you can carry it with you anywhere so yeah and I think this is like twenty dollars I'm not I can't remember but I will try to link it but if you guys do like taking outfit uh, pictures or if you like taking selfies this is a very very nice uh, tripod and it's very small you can like fit it in your purse and I don't use these like I don't use this but I have it just in case like what if one day I use it you know so there you go I have some Tylenol because you know I get headaches every once in a while when I don't wear my glasses and just some lotion as well like i said i have very dry hands i'm out of my aquaphor so i bought this at urban outfitters because i was looking for a lotion they had it like like near the checkout so yeah it's in very small and it works it does the job and i just have a viva la juicy roller um the perfume i really like this i feel like this is a very very like timeless scent and i just carry it in my bag just in case i forget to wear perfume and I have this like little like hair clip as well. And I got this uh, Burlington. It came with like a pack of six. So I just always carry one because like I usually like to pull my hair up or put it like in a half up do. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have in my purse. And like I said, I don't carry this every time. Like sometimes when I, I just want to downsize or if I'm running errands, I just literally take my phone. And I do have Apple Pay on my phone. So I just, I live like near a grocery, um, near a shopping center. So I have like my grocery store nearby so i'll just take my phone and do apple pay but if i do want to like go out like target run errands i actually have a smaller shoulder bag i will link down in the description bar so you guys can check it out and then just put my wallet phone keys and like chapstick and a mask and just kind of downsize but so far i love this bag and i think you guys should definitely look into it and you guys won't be disappointed but yes yeah, this is this is pretty much all for this video and thank you guys so much for watching. I'm honestly very, very, very thankful for all the love and support that I've been getting ever since I started this journey. And it does mean a lot to me. So I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. And if you guys have any suggestions on what kind of videos I should make next, please go ahead and comment. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!